So we're going to do one more example of rigid body equilibrium and then we're going to go on to examine the different types of support conditions that we are likely to encounter. So first of all the example. In this example we're going to consider still a beam and this time I'm going to consider again we're going to go for this is a brick wall that the beam is inserted into and it continues however far down the page you'd like to go and the beam is subject to a point load right on its tip that's equal to 20 kilonewtons and finally we need a dimension which takes us This distance here, which is the distance from where the support acts on the left hand side to where the point load is at the tip, and this distance is equal to 10 meters. Okay, so this is the real problem that we're encountering in real life. We've got some maybe a concrete beam that's embedded in a wall completely, and we now need to get this down to a free body diagram. So We'll draw the beam again. And now we're going to add on all of the forces that this beam would be experiencing. So we have the 20 kilonewtons at the tip. That's okay. We'd also expect from this brick wall that there would be some support in the Y direction. So if I call this end A and this end B, then this support condition would be giving us a reaction force of R, A and Y to the right Y direction. We'd expect as well that the wall can give us some support in the X direction. And I'll draw that in the positive X direction. I don't know what the direction of that force is yet. So that's R, A, and then a subscript X for the X direction. And then because this cantilever, this beam, is fully fixed into the wall, we can also expect that this wall can produce a moment right on the end here. And this moment I'm going to call M subscript A. And this case, it's encountered all the time in civil engineering. And this is what's called a cantilever beam. And this support condition, where we have fixities in both translational directions and can give a moment as well, is what we might call fully fixed or another term that you might encounter in textbooks is on castre. Both mean the same thing. Okay. So this is our free body diagram for it and so we're going to generate our equations of equilibrium we have three of them x direction y direction and moments so first of all we'll do the sum of the forces in the x direction and that must be equal to zero so looking at our free body diagram we have r a x is equal to zero no other x forces on the system so we now know that result r a x okay now we're going to look in the y direction so some of the forces in the y direction and i can see that on the left hand side i have r a y pointing upwards and on the right hand side i have my 20 kilonewtons pointing downwards and for equilibrium that must be equal to zero so straight away i can calculate that r a y is equal to 20 kilonewtons and finally i'm going to generate a moment equation and so what I'm going to do is take moments about the point A. 
So this means that the RAY, the, the line of action of that force goes straight through the point. RAX, the line of action goes straight through that point. But the 20 kilonewtons is acting at 10 meters away from there. And one thing not to forget is that we have an MA, a moment. So let's set up our equation of equilibrium. I'm going to take moments about point A and I will get. So looking at the free body diagram, MA, I'm assuming is going anti-clockwise. So it's a positive moment. And the 20 kilonewtons when taking moments about point A is trying to go clockwise. So it's a negative moment. So I can write my equation M. A. and that has no other components it's just a moment and then I have my 20 kilonewtons multiplied by 10 meters and the sum of the forces must be equal to zero and the final thing is that the 20 times 10 is going in a clockwise direction so that is negative and then I can take the 20 multiplied by 10 onto the right hand side and I can write that MA equals 200 kilonewton meters and so we have the support moment that is that going in an anti-clockwise direction to stop the whole body from rotating we have the y reaction and we have the x reaction all calculated.